okay hello guys uh, today I want to you know get started with um, actually creating a blog okay you know something that will enable you to like post your own stuff and share it you know with uh, with other people and stuff like that so in my previous tutorial you know on the same subject I created a video um, showing you how to, uh, to download Python if you don't have that already and um, and install it and then also download Google App Engine and install it so I assume that you have that done or if you have not done that you can watch it right now you can you know just search for simple developer or I will include a link you know, at the bottom of the page of the video so I assume that you know you watch that and um, you have Google App Engine a working version and and Python like 2.7 and so we'll go ahead and get started here I've created a simple project let me try and do this again so I've called it blog and I've selected a, a destination called desktop and if you you know click OK you should be able to see um, you know a blog project added here and the port that you'll be, you know, your browser will be listening to is uh, uh, 11 zero. That is mine, really, because I have other others here. So it'll be 11 zero eight five. Now I already started it, so you should go ahead and click run. And after clicking run, you can click browse to see that it is already working. So let me do that. And there it is. Okay. I did some simple editing and to just to make sure that it is working so now after that let's go ahead and import or you know we want to start editing the files here but before we do that we need to just establish some structure which is really a uh, common sense here so again I, I you know I would like to show you how to do this um, let me see mean okay okay I wanted to delete this okay there it is um just you know so I, I can start from afresh and then so I have an, a folder called assets and then I have another folder called templates this will be very important very soon but basically what you ri have right now is just a, a simple you know simple uh, main.py file that has a main handler and it inherits some you know powers from web up to the request handler this web up to is pretty much like a framework so it has one method called self dot get actually define you know it has a, a get function and then here you just initialize your application so basically if you go to your applications URL and backslash that will call this main handler and that will therefore write self dot response right hello world building an application to the con uh, to the window of the browser so but we don't have we, we don't want to mix all the HTML stuff with um, with the code you know the Python code we don't want to do that so the best thing to do is to create a um, you want to create a templates folder and then we will use some templating engine called Jinja or Jinja 2 that will help us get you know get our, our code cleaned up and then inside our assets I'm going to cl cl create some new folders let me say CSS folder and and then I'm going to create another folder called JS folder and then you know just in case we will have some images let me say images folder so we will store our you know files here um, index no, 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 no with that and then um, scripts with JS okay so 
we are now set we have main.css scripts and inside templates we have index okay so let's go for it and now uh, in the next video i'll you know introduce some new stuff okay have a good day